Hey everybody, this is Russ from Metro Game Corps. So, quick story time here. In 2006, I went over to a friend's house and I saw them playing this game here, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And even though this was a PS1 game, he was playing it on his Xbox 360. It was an Xbox Live Arcade game at the time. And this was the first time I'd ever seen that game. I didn't own a PS1, so I had never seen this game in action. And I was immediately drawn to just the simple complexity of this game. And so I ended up buying an Xbox 360 almost immediately thereafter. And you guessed it, the first game that I bought for this device was this game here. And I had a great time playing through this game and unlocking all the little mysteries that are available when you look hard enough. And ever since getting into the whole retro handheld thing, I always wanted to play this game all over again. But here we are a year and a half later, and I have so many devices now and just dozens of ways of playing this game. And yet, I've never gotten any further than that first kind of intro section. And part of that might be because I have just a bunch of different handheld devices that can play various games and I haven't gotten to it yet. But the truth is, I have more handhelds than I could ever play, and they're loaded with more games that I could ever play in a lifetime as well. In fact, I usually spend more time just browsing through my game libraries than actually playing any games. And if you own a retro handheld and you've spent time souping it up, you've probably had this same problem as well. Well lately, I've been taking a different approach. I've been trying to make my systems as simple as possible. And that's what we're going to cover here in this video today. I'm going to show you how I set this up using various handheld devices running 351 Elec and Arc OS. And there's not really a huge trick to this, it's just a matter of setting everything up within your favorites, and then configuring the operating system so that it just goes directly into your favorites without having to browse anything else. And to be honest, it's a very simple setup and this is going to be a quick video, but it has changed the way I approach these retro handhelds and so I wanted to show this off to you too. And so, without any further delay, let's try it out. Okay, first thing here, this can play on any of the RK3326 devices, the RG351 devices, as well as the RGB10, and all of the other ones that are similar to this. Primarily, we'll focus on the RG351MP, and we'll set it up using 351 Elec first. Now, as you can see, my 351 Elec build for the RG351MP is extensive. I've put all my favorite games on here, and then some others. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate through each of these systems, and then just pick one or two games per system. And to set them as a favorite in 351 Elec, you press the X button, and then select Add to Favorites. And so I'm just going to go through here and probably pick around 10 to 15 titles altogether. And this is a mixture of games that I want to replay or games that I just never got to when I was a kid. Either way, once you have that set up, we're ready to get into the theme and actually start making some changes. As you can see here, I have 13 games altogether. So press start to go into the main menu, then go into the UI settings and make sure you're using the art book theme. There are a couple other themes that would work with this setup, but we're going to stick with this one first. Next, we'll go into theme configuration, then game list view style. You want to change this one to the grid style. This allows us to navigate through the box art in a sort of carousel style. Now within the rest of the theme configuration, there are other things you could do. You could change the theme style to be a different color, you change your menu color, things like that. We actually don't need to change any of this, so we'll just leave it as is. And now just to test it here, we're going to go into the favorite section, and as you can see, we can browse through the box art. So already we're halfway there. Now I want to set this up so that we can go directly into the favorites without seeing any of the other systems. Next, we're going to go back into the settings here, and we're going to go into game collection settings. Under systems displayed, we're going to uncheck everything. This will basically hide all of the systems, but it's not going to delete any of the games, and so we can always get back to them later if we want. Also, you want to go into the Automatic Game Collection section, and then uncheck anything that isn't favorites. For example, I had a couple here, I'm just going to uncheck them. Finally, under Start On System, make sure it's set to Favorites. And then also turn on Start On Game List. This is going to make it so you don't see the Favorites menu at all, you're just going to go directly into the games. And then finally, select Show Games of Hidden Systems in Collections. And actually, that's about it. Let's go ahead and restart Emulation Station, and so you get a feel for what it's going to be like when you first boot the device up. And yeah, look at that. It just goes directly into the Favorites folder, and then you have those 13 favorite games right here and now. I really like this because it makes me focus on these games, and that means I might actually play through them. So, for example, I might actually go in here and play Golden Sun one of these days. As far as I know, the only thing that happens in this game is that there's some sort of rainstorm. 
And so yeah, in a nutshell, that's basically all you have to do to set up a curated games list like this that has been whittled down to just the ones you really want to focus on. And of course, you can do the same thing in ArcOS as well. Let me show you how I set this one up real quick. Now, unfortunately, this firmware does not have the same set of themes as the other one does, but there are quite a few that you can use that'll allow you to have a grid style display like this one here. And honestly, I like the simplicity of this one as well. In fact, one of my wife's friends just recently bought a 351V, and this is how I set up her system, which is what inspired me to make this video in the first place. So in ArcOS, I recommend using the minimal theme, and then under theme configuration, make sure that your game list view style is grid as well. Under the game collection settings, make sure that it's set to only have one automatic game collection, which is going to be your favorites. And then under the UI settings is where you'll find your visible systems to remove all of those, and then set it to boot on the game list as well. And after that, you're going to be right as rain, it's going to work exactly like 351 Elec. But yeah, that's really about it for this video. I just wanted to show off the way that I've been approaching some of these retro handheld systems. Even though custom firmwares like ArcOS and 351 Elec have a ton of neat features, I found that my favorite thing about them is the ability to turn all those features off. Instead, I have a very compact and focused gaming experience, which means that I might finish one of these games someday. Either way, let me know what you think about this setup. I'm interested to hear if this is something that's appealing to you, or you'd rather just see all your games at once. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.